Hi guys, so the Pixel 4 and the Pixel 4 XL has astrophotography, star photography skills in night mode. In order to activate it, you'll have to put it in a tripod, I think, because it never activated when I was hand holding it. Hand holding it. Also, if you hand hold it, obviously you're not gonna get very good results. So I do obviously recommend putting it on a tripod. Actually, not using a tripod. It's actually a, um, it's a, actually a magic arm mount. It's sort of like a tripod. Uh, anyway, I've got it mounted on my outdoor hut here and we'll take a photo here together real quick and it's actually really amazing uh, when you do take a photo it will actually take I've seen it take up to almost two minutes to take the photo so it's actually taking um, a ton of multiple exposures to give you a final a very very good photo of the stars so this is something I've been experimenting uh, as you guys know with the LG uh, phones with the LG V40 I've been actually doing this already since last year uh, but Google made it so it's really optimized to take uh, star photography. So this is going to be really awesome. And I'm going to actually try to go ahead and take a um, time lapse uh, throughout the night. And uh, if this does work, then it's going to be really awesome. And you can see it's still going right here. Um, it's already, it's, I think it's already gone like almost a minute here. Um, I find that it does take about a minute on average. Um, but you know you can take longer depending on how dark out it is right here it's not too dark right now we still got some city lights out here so let's go ahead and wait for the results here and you can see it's actually fine-tuning the image I'm um, doing a lot of processing um, just to get one photo so this is really amazing so I did try to do this with the pixel 3 I mean pixel 3 you can get pretty decent star photography um, but nowhere close to the Pixel 4. So I didn't know about this and people were telling me on YouTube and sorry I, I didn't actually try this uh, and once upon trying I'm, I'm falling in love with this feature. Um, it's still going, it's ac actually going at for two minutes now. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the results uh, and see how well it took the photo but I think it's gonna turn out actually pretty good. Wow it's still going at 2 minutes and 30 seconds I think. It's almost there. Hopefully we, have, we end up with a lot of stars here. Oh, it's actually going to take the full 4 minutes that it estimated. So you might not be able to get this um, because I think this actually has something to do with the processor on the Pixel 4, the neural processor, I think. Um, so with the Pixel 3 you might not be able to do this. So this might be one of the reasons to buy the Pixel 4. At 3 minutes, uh, almost 50 seconds, at almost 4 minutes, it's still fine-tuning image. When am I going to get my photo? I hope it has a lot of stars and looks good. Alright, so it finally took a photo. Let's go ahead and take a quick look. Wow, that's that's a really, really clean image. I don't know if my camera's picking it up, but let me go ahead and show you on the big screen. Give you an idea of what I'm working with here. So I've got some city lights back there. You can see I've got my A7S II, which makes it look a lot uh, brighter than it is. But it's more like, realistically, it looks like this right now. And it is pointing up there, somewhat somewhat up there, away from the city lights. So there's still some light interference. Um, but the Pixel 4, wow. I mean, I've used uh, my mirrorless cameras. Uh, other more professional cameras to get uh, results like this but you could do it with the Pixel 4 so it's pretty amazing you should really try it let me go ahead and try with the Pixel 3 from the same location real quick so I'm just gonna take the same photo from exact same location and you can see there's no astro mode it just takes multiple exposures and gives you a photo and you get some stars, it's not actually too bad. Uh, but you get a lot of noise, um, obviously. Wow. Compared to the Pixel 4, um, yeah, no no match here. So this is my setup, actually. I've got a uh, magic mount mounted on my tent. Um, I used to use a tripod, but from here it's a lot better if I don't have a tripod because the tripod, it, you know, it still shakes on the ground. Um, plus it just gets in the way. This way it's out of the way. I can just mount it somewhere. Actually, very good idea. Um, since I'm going to have it on all night. And you can see the city lights out there. Uh, there's the ocean. I'm using my A7S II, by the way, which makes things look a lot brighter. It's actually maybe 
Uh, it's actually a lot darker than what it seems on camera. And also I've got a little little uh, Samsung um, USB power bank mounted on there with one of these mount thingies. And then I've got it connected to the phone obviously so I could um, have, uh, have it take uh, some star photography all night long. Um, also I've, I'm using an intervalometer app. It's a paid app but it allows you to basically automatically keep taking photos. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the results at the end. Okay, so the time lapse came out pretty good. That's based on JPEG files. And I didn't know this, um, the Pixel 4 actually creates raw files also. So tonight I'm gonna try to take some raw photos from my roof tonight and try to make it look a lot better. I mean, these files look great. You're gonna get a lot more stars than any other smartphone out there, thanks to up to four minutes of exposure. Now, the only problem I see with these JPEG files, they've been highly processed. Uh, they're actually overly sharp. And that's why my time lapse wasn't natural looking. I had to slow it down because it was too sharp. When I played it back in 30 frames per second, it just, it looks really jittery. And when you're doing time-lapse photography with your smartphone, um, you absolutely wanna use RAW if possible. That way you can make it not too sharp like that and make it look real good with, with time-lapse. Again, these files look really good for uh, stills. I mean, you're getting a lot of stars. You can see with the time-lapse that these are actually all stars. They're not like dust or something. Um, so you're picking up all of the stars, but there is some over sharpening going on. Um, that's the only thing I don't like about the process part. Um, for those of you who take a lot of photos, you know what I'm talking about. And Pixel 4 is trying to make that processing so it's super bright so you can actually see the stars. But to make it look actually natural better, especially in time lapse, you're gonna have to get rid of that over sharpness using the raw file. So that's what I'll do next time uh, for tomorrow's video problem. Also, one thing I didn't like about this is the fact that sometimes um, due to the amount of exposure you can see in this scene how the uh, light completely changes in color this is also due to processing uh, again if i use the raw files i'm going to be able to match every frame to have the same colors so that's what i'll do another problem i encountered was that the astrophotography mode it didn't have a consistent time working with like for example, if I was shooting with my Sony a7R 2 I would do a consistent exposure time of like, let's say 30 seconds to 60 seconds. And it would keep it that way. And when I make a time lapse, it's gonna look very, very natural. Now the problem I saw with Pixel 4, again, it decides when it wanna use 30 seconds or four minutes. There's no consistency. And this brings problems for people who wanna make a time lapse or wanna go another level from just doing star photography. So I feel like if Google can add like an advanced mode so the user can actually set a time limit because I got an intervalometer app which shoots uh, the camera every 60 seconds or so. Sometimes a Google camera will take 60 seconds. Sometimes it'll take two minutes. Sometimes it'll take four minutes. So when I make a time lapse, it looks all like jittery and stuff. I definitely think if Google can uh, fix this issue uh, for advanced users, obviously, it's gonna be a lot more fun to work with. Now, let me go ahead and show you um, star photography time lapse I made. And you guys remember I made that LG V40 uh, camera long exposure 4K time lapse uh, 12 months ago. So you guys remember that I made this time lapse using LG V40. This was last year. Um, just using manual mode and you can see how smooth it is um, because I've used uh, I'm actually used JPEG files, but this is actually just um, It's not highly processed. It's not overly sharp and I feel like that's what's missing with the new astrophotography mode on the pixel 4 even though it looks very very nice um, If you you know when you do a time-lapse when your photo is over sharp, you can clearly tell and um, a lot of times if it's overly sharp and I make a time lapse, I just scrap it because it just looks terrible in a time lapse. So I think I'm gonna definitely try the raw mode. That way I can really dial down um, the sharpness the way I want to. It's not overly sharp out of the camera. But for right now, I mean, this is a great way to be able to take photos of stars without fiddling with the manual mode. To get these shots, I had to shut up the camera, the tripod, the ISO, the shutter speed, the, even the focus. There was a lot of stuff to do to just get it working correctly. Again, astrophotography mode on Pixel 4. Most people with no camera knowledge are not gonna even be able to take advantage. That's where Google's 
astrophotography mode really comes in handy. I definitely think that's one of the reasons why you should buy the Pixel 4, especially if you go out camping a lot, if you like photography, if you wanna have power of a mirrorless camera in your smartphone when you go camping without lugging a big DSLR or mirrorless camera, I think the Pixel 4 is definitely the way to go. That's it for today. Really loving the Pixel 4 astrophotography mode. I think this is the best I've seen on a smartphone, especially for regular Joes and Hoes. Sorry, regular Joes and Hoes. Sorry, regular Joes and Sos. I can't think of any other word that rhymes with Joe, so we'll just stick with that. Uh, anyway, very good phone for regular Hoes and Joes. Have a great day. Highly recommended. As always, stay. <laughs> Astrophotography.